guys, Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning waxy, as always, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you what I was warming in the month of January, my empties anyways, and a few of my favorites and flops. So let's start with Scentsy. Um, my regular subscribers will know that this is my all-time favorite. Scentsy Bar, Hendrix, love this. Um, unfortunately, my man friend has also fallen in love with this. This is all he ever wants to warm at his house. And I cannot, for the life of me, explain to him that it no longer exists and he needs to back off, bitch. So, he's been going through my Hendrix stash like crazy. Um, I finished another Lemon Lavender from last summer's Bring Back My Bar. Sorry, the lighting in here sucks. This is amazing. It is a powerhouse and I love warming this in my laundry room. I finished Quiet Clementine. This was my second favorite from that Hugi Wax collection. Um, not sure if that video has gone up on my channel yet, but if not, check that out or look for it in the very near future. I did a, like a warm review on all of these bad boys that are still available, shockingly enough. Quiet Clementine was my second favorite. My first favorite was Wooly Slippers. Love, love, love this one. This is just a lavender marshmallow for vendor waxies. You guys have smelled this a million times over from various vendors, but it was really nice for Scentsy to do something with their classic marshmallow and lavender. Love that. From Bath and Body Works, I finished a candle, Toffee Brittle. It was very, very, very sooty. Thankfully, I don't burn these in my house. It was just in the front entryway of the dollhouse. Smelt delicious, and I'm almost a little sad I didn't pick up more than one. For body care, I finished uh, Bath & Body Works Island Sand, the body scrub. Um, this was a heavy exfoliant. I was not a fan of this. Tatum & Grace love this. With their dry skin in the winter, I was surprised that this one didn't make Tatum break out. Uh, or sorry, Grace Breakout, but they both raved about how amazing it was in scrubbing off their dead skin. Um, however, it made a disaster of my soaker tub and the bottom of my shower, so I am not a fan of this and would never buy that again, but the girls seem to enjoy it. Candles. This one was a candle from Winners, and Grace was hoping to keep the jar because it was really pretty. Tatum bought this for her at Christmas time. It was a very like classic Christmas scent, like that holly berry and wreath. Um, it was very fragrant and unfortunately she took the label off the bottom. So I don't even know who made this candle, if it was ZW or whoever Winners usually carries. Um, Grace is hoping to keep the jar and use it for like makeup sponges or whatever, but it's smashed. So that is going in the recycling bin ASAP. From Ambisense, I finished a Cotton Fresh. Um, I know I've spoke about um, Ambisense Sensationals Better Home and Gardens being made by perhaps the same manufacturer. I love this one. It's a really strong just laundry scent. Not linen. It's definitely laundry. And I don't even know. Like it almost m m reminds me more so of like a Dove or an Irish Spring soap even than it does a laundry detergent but it's it's very soapy very clean scent I very much enjoyed that from sensationals citrus and eucalyptus leaf I loved this come January 1st I was done with the heavy bakery scents I was so over it I didn't want to smell anything sweet and my friend Cindy and Marissa's had sent me a couple of these in my birthday ROAK so I was very happy to have that even on a few of the warmer days Lately, I opened up some of the windows just to get some like fresh air into the dollhouse and I warmed that. It was bomb. I also finished Perfectly Pine from Sensationals. I melted a few pine scents or tree scents around Christmas, but I wasn't quite through with them and it was nice to finish a couple of them out of my collection. From Better Home and Gardens, I melted first Woodland Frost. I believe this is the second clam. I bought one and then my friend Amber sent me one in an ROAK. Really love this. Almost not the same as the eucalyptus citrus leaf, but it's a very fresh, almost, there's definitely a, a citrus fruity to this. It's not what you would expect. It's very unique and I love that one. So thank you, Amber. I also finished a clam of Comfy and Cozy. This is Fleece and Flannel by Better Home and Gardens. 
on my next trip down there this month, I hope to be able to haul a bunch of this <clears throat> before it disappears. Love that one. I would melt that one year round. I finished a clam of Vintage Luxe from DD, the Hobby Lobby Wax Company. It's Amber Caramel and Smoke. This one was really nice. Um, however, given those scent notes, strangely enough, those scent notes, it reminds me very much of Scentsy's Southern Evening, but not quite as strong. I did like this one and I would pick it up again if given the chance. Um, from Rooney's Wax Melts, <clears throat> I know I briefly touched on this last month, but this is probably my favorite from Rooney's that I've melted thus far. I finally found the clamshell and I couldn't help but melt the last two cubes. Thank you for this one, Cindy and Marissa. I have no idea. Everyone's probably thinking, what the hell is she talking about? What's so special about eucalyptus and lavender? I don't know why, but from this company, it was beautiful. I loved it. I would haul this in mass quantities. From Super Tarts, I finished one clam of Once Upon a Time Belle. This is Beauty and the Beast, which is their Magically Delicious and Blackberry mixed with tea and cakes. This is one of the very first Super Tart scents I melted and fell in love with. And again, I was just craving something different than those heavy traditional Christmas scents or the Christmas bakery. So that's bakery, but different. It was very nice. From <clears throat> the Bathing Gardens, I finished Lacquered Lollipops, which is blackcurrant, citrus, cypress, musk, and ginger. Very unique scent. Um, no shade, but I haven't had very much luck with this vendor and the wax that I've purchased. I did two huge hauls last year, and most of the wax is yet to be cured. This one, however, threw like a beast. It's a very, very unique scent. I'm not sure that I'm down with the mix of citrus, ginger, cypress, musk, and black currant. Um, it wouldn't be my favorite, but sometimes, again, after Christmas, 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 you just need something different, and that is definitely different. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished Caramel Cinnamon Latte, Vanilla Bean Noel. Love any of Julie's latte coffee blends. From Sparkles, Wax Melts. Lemon Verbena. This one had very little scent throw at all for me. Smelt amazing in the bag, but it just, it didn't throw, um, which was awfully disappointing. I have, um, what is it? Her Lavender Vanilla, which I adore, and it had the exact same cure date, but this had no scent. So that was kind of disappointing, but happy to try it. So thank you, Amber, for sending that to me. From Vintage Chic Scents, I finished White Witch, which is Fresh Rain, Bonfire, and Crunchy Leaves. Love this scent. I have one more of these bling blocks. I think I'm going to save it for next year because I have a feeling that this could have been more powerful. It was poured fresh on July 16th, 2018. So I think I'm going to leave the second bling block that I have for September. I also finished a sampler of Cookie Monster, which give, was given to me by my girl Carrie in St. Thomas, Ontario. She's my waxy neighbor-ish, sort of. Carrie, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. I would hoard large quantities of Cookie Monster, let it cure really well, because this was poured in May, May 23rd of 2018, and in January, it was amazing. Um, another Canadian company, uh, Makes Sense Candle Shop, I finished Cactus and Sea Salt. My girl Cindy and Marissa shared some of this with me. They didn't have any poly bags, so she was so sweet to send it in these little containers. I loved this. It was a true Cactus and Sea Salt scent. The performance on it was excellent. Um, however, if you are planning on ordering from this vendor anytime soon, I suggest that you have tons of poly bags because she sends it in open poly bags that don't zip or shut. Um, that's the only reason why I haven't hauled from Make Sense Candle Shop in a very long time because I'm just like kind of frustrated in Canadian shipping prices as well as kind of frustrated in having to rebag everything that I purchased from them because you guys know if you've watched my channel I don't like I very rarely do small hauls. From Destination Wax I finished Jupiter 2. I have no scent notes for this. It was um it's definitely patchouli, almost like a Nag Champa blend. It was beautiful. Destination Wax throws like a beast for me. Loved that. 
And I also finished White Sari, which I've melted before and reviewed this on my channel. It's pristine white roses and rich dark patchouli. I cut this scent shot in fourths and I need one warmer. So that $2 scent shot goes a long, long way. I use one warmer, it scents the entire dollhouse for a good eight hours. This is powerful stuff. You definitely have to get down with the earthy scents to love that one. <clears throat> From Hayden Rowe, which I've been loving this vendor as of late, thanks to my girl Amber. She sent me Tranquility. I have no idea what the scent notes are for this one, but this is like the most posh baby powder scent I've ever smelled. It's gorgeous. I think this would be amazing on its own. It would also make a phenomenal mixer, so thank you, Amber. I would definitely order that one. <clears throat> Boston Tea Party. Love this. If you love tea and cakes, you have to try this. It's tea and cakes mixed with iced tea or southern sweet tea or something. It is gorgeous. Even if you don't like tea and cakes, I suggest trying it anyways. It's very, very, very unique. And then I also melted Dutch's. Sorry, I don't have the scent notes for this, but I would order all three of those in large quantities. This is beautiful. Again, I only cut these in thirds. I just need a small piece of Hayden Row as well as Destination Wax, and it scents the whole dollhouse. From Ava's Country Cupboard, I finished Coffee House Treats, which was poured last April. This hardly had any scent when I received it, and that's odd for me because usually Ava's, I don't have to wait a long time for it to cure. This one took forever to cure, but let me tell you, it was so worth the wait. I would order Coffee House Treats in large quantities. And then I finished Caramel Cinnamon Latte, which unfortunately, if I had a choice between the two, I would definitely pick the Coffee House Treats. From Rose Girls, I finished Date Night, which is Twilight in the Woods, the Bath and Body Work type balayage, and Pink Sugar. This is beautiful, throws like a beast. It was poured in August. I had to wait a long time for it to cure, but it was, again, well worth the wait. I finished Blackberry Mocha Cookies. Delicious. Amber sent me this. Oh, hoard worthy. Like, I would buy bags upon bags of this one. So, thank you, Amber. And Lavender Linen and Icy Shine. Just a nice lavender laundry scent, plus the shampoo. It's gorgeous. Not quite as powerful as Date Night or the Coffee Mocha Cookies, whatever, but it was very nice all the same. So now I'm going to share with you some of my favorites and flops for the month of January. Woo! It's raining. So some of my favorites, Wood Shop from the DD Wax Collection at Hobby Lobby. This is fresh cut wood, sweet leather and cologne. Super sexy. Loving that one. I've also been loving Scentsy's White Sands. That's no surprise if you've watched my channel for a while. Love, love, love this scent. It didn't throw very well for me back in the summer when I ordered it from Bring Back My Bar, but I also think it was because the dollhouse was ridiculously hot. Now that the weather's cooled down, um, temperature's more regulated here, I have been loving, loving the performance of White Sands. Um, so it goes to show, you never know. Test it out, could depend on a lot of things. With Scentsy, you don't need cure time for pure paraffin products but perhaps there's something going on in and around your space that isn't helping the wax's performance. A mix that I have been loving is Rose Girl's Herbal Lavender with her rain. This is beautiful, fresh, so good. Fresh, earthy, amazing. Been loving that in the month of January. So my flops have been, um, Spearmint weather, or sorry, Spearmint sweater weather and Macintosh madness. Holy Hannah. This, I had to shut this off. It has been a long time since wax was so strong. It was literally making my eyes water. This is a banger. <laughs> I took two small pieces and put it in two separate warmers in a 600 square foot space and had an instant headache. I will, like I do enjoy the scent, but it was so, so overpowering. I think next time I will cut this in thirds and only put it in one warmer. Um, so it's not necessarily a flop for me, but I think I just need to use it sparingly. Um, Chill Pill was a flop, 
Um, I know that sounds awful because this is a Hayden Rowe die hard favorite. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about this scent. To me, it smells sour, which is so weird. I cannot figure it out. Some days I'm melting this and I cannot stand it. I have to turn it off. Sorry, Amber. My girl sent this to me in my Christmas Arogi AK. I, I, some days I love it. Other days um, it has this strange sour note to it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Or if you're a huge Chill Pill fan, comment down below and tell me I'm crazy because I know people love this. I just don't know why once in a blue moon I get an awful sour note with that one. And my last flop, which I know people are going to hate me for saying this, the Glitterati Company. Um, this one was also sent to me by my girl Amber in my Christmas ROAK. It wasn't necessarily a flop for me. It's Mrs. Claus's Lemon Curd Cookies. But I was melting this and I just, I don't get the buzz over this company. I have a couple more um, things that I wanna melt and get into and try and figure out what it is that makes people wait in line for this. I mean, there's Glitterati diehards that watch that website 24 seven for her giveaways and the chance to get on an ordering list when there's so many other amazing vendors out there. I want to figure out what the secret is behind the Glitterati Candle Company. Is it because it's so exclusive that it's more of a challenge to get? I don't know. But I look forward to melting more. This Mrs. Claus's lemon curd cookies did really nothing for me. It didn't blow my socks off like I was anticipating. Um, not much different than any other up, like lemon bakery scent out there. I just, it wasn't bad. It just, you know, didn't wow me by any means. So that's it. That's what I emptied, melted, loved, not so loved for the month of January. Comment down below. What have you been melting? What have I been missing? Miss you guys all. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.